Hello guys, and uh, today I want to show you how to keep your cabinet mostly the spice, spices cabinet more in a orderly form. So, of course there is all kinds of solution in the market, for especially for spices, but this is not, uh, I'm not going to show any of those solutions, this is more of a basic without any solutions. So what to do without anything else, basic things. So first thing what I want to I did here, I'll, I'll I'll show you guys here a little closer. So there is three lines basically of spices, and more importantly, there is space between the lines. So like almost like the the in the length or the width of the spices. So there is a, a space between. I'll explain why. Now. First of all, what you want to do, and it will take some a little investment of your side, is understand this is what I did here. Uh, what, which kind of spices do I use the most? So, which one you use the most? You want to put in the first line because those are going to be used the most, and there is no reason reaching out to the second uh, row. Um, so. You need to understand. It will take maybe a few days just to understand. Or you, you, you might even know that subconsciously, uh, so it might be a little, even easier for you. And if, you, if you, even if you don't, you can always change and adapt on the spot. So, oh, okay, I don't want to use it that much, so put it in the in the second row or whatever. So, also something that's very helpful is I use all I want I want all the labels that face that will face me. So, for example. Do not, if you take one back, do not put it back in like that because you not necessarily will have idea what what this spice is and that will save you more time if you can see everything. And of course it looks better, especially if you have uh, OCD problems. <laughs> um, so again, so put everything back and in the first row, whatever you use the most and facing you. That's another important thing. Um, now, when you do need to reach, so if you're looking for a spice that it's not here in the first row or first line, what I do is don't take everything out because that will make everything, that will make a mess. So what I do is just pick up, okay, this is not what I'm looking for, not what I'm looking for, this is what I'm looking for, and we'll take it out, and of course, take it back in. Very important is, the most important thing I would say is to keep the order. So whatever is in the first line will be in the first line. Whatever is in the second line will be in the second line. And as long as you keep it that way, you will know where to reach when you're looking for something in the second line. And that will make it easier for you in the future. So, and the first row, the third row, there is a third row back then. This is really things that you mostly, you barely use. You all have those spices we use like really once a year or so. So you can just shove them there and look for them whenever you need them. Um, now, uh, little tips about how to you just keep it clean. So first of all, I, I used here, I just put paper. You can use uh, like newspapers or some kind of uh, just papers underneath. So if you do have some excess oil or just spices uh, that's spilled out of the can, it's not going to be on the cabinet, so it's much, much easier to clean it that way. Um, in general, you don't want to have, especially when you use, uh, when you're cooking, you don't want to make a mess with, uh, with those cans. So if there is excess oil or whatever, some kind of water even, do not, do not, not put it back in before you clean it. Or alternatively, you can clean them every once in a while. And in that way, they will be, yeah. first of all, it's not gonna smell because sometimes when you touch stuff and things are, start smell and your cabinet will smell the same way. So that's the first reason. Second reason, just gonna make it more, yeah, looks better. And whenever you use it without gloves, you're not gonna mess around with your hands afterwards so that's that will really can really be helpful um same thing with uh oils like uh like canola oil it, usually there is always some drops left out so i would recommend to clean it wrap it around clean the outside 
the external sides every once in a while with paper towel or something so the whole bottle not gonna be sticky and disgusting again put it on uh, on a some kind of a paper a newspaper or any absorbing material because as much as you ch as long as you try you cannot make it perfect so will always be some drops so better to be on a newspaper than on your cabinet. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much. Take care.